Hello guys, today's question is find the values of cos inverse 1 by 2 plus 2 sin inverse 1 by 2. This is the first question. Second question is tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus 1 by 2. So here it is visible that we are having a collection of some trigonometric functions. So this is a second level type of questions in this chapter. So we will be solving one by one. Let's start with this first question. So cos inverse one by two. It is positive value directly we can write the answer. Cos inverse one by two at which angle cos become one by two that is 60 degree. So we can write it as pi by three for this part. Next we are having plus sign. So if you are having plus sign we will be writing plus here. Then two. Then two will be as it is. Then it is into, so we can write it as into. Then we are having sine inverse 1 by 2. So it is positive value, directly we can write the answer. So at which angle sine become 1 by 2? We know it is 30 degree, that means pi by 6. So in into, we can cancel out 2, 3 is a 6. So it is pi by 3 plus pi by 3. So after taking LCM, you will get 2 pi by 3. This is the answer of this first question. Now here, coming to this question, tan inverse 1 plus cos inverse minus 1 by 2. So, first part, tan inverse 1. So, it is positive value, we can write it directly. Tan at which angle it becomes 1? Pi by 4. So, we are writing pi by 4. Then we are having sine plus. So, we are writing plus here. Then cos inverse negative. For cos inverse negative, we know this formula cos inverse minus x equal to pi minus cos inverse x. I am writing this for just remembering this formula. Now pi minus is there, that is why we are going to write pi minus cos inverse 1 by 2. Here pi plus pi by 4 plus pi minus at which angle cos become 1 by 2 we know that is 60 degree that is pi by 3 if you take the LCM you will get 4 3 and here we have 1 so the LCM will be 12 4 how much times 12 3 3 pi plus 1 how much times 12 12 times so 12 pi minus 3 how much times 4 times 4 into pi here, if, if you calculate from here, 3 plus 12, 15, 15 minus 4, that is 11. So, the answer will be 11 pi by 12. So, we are asked two different questions of collection of inverse trigonometric function and we have used the concept of principal value to solve the given question to us. It is very easy to solve it. Just a Re recall of investigative function.